To this day, the world remains scarred by the conflict that we call World War II. The generation that fought and survived the Second World War, some of them are still with us now. And we therefore have a living memory of the Second World War. As that living memory recedes, it's up to a new generation to understand that memory, to understand the experience of fighting the war and surviving the war. Call of Duty World War II is an incredibly personal game. This is a story about a conflict that was really an inflection point in human history. There is this respect and honor you have to pay to not only the people, but to the places. Marty was so important to this project because he gave us details to making the game and getting it right. I've devoted my life to studying the subject of the Second World War. I'm very fortunate in this career to follow the story of individuals that are willing to make a sacrifice for the bigger picture. They represented the greatest possible bravery, the greatest possible courage under the worst possible circumstances. This isn't a fictional war, so it's really important that we communicate to the player to have a strong understanding of what happened and what the time was like. Some of the most infamous battles in the history of man happened in World War II. To make sure that we get the feeling and tone and locations right, we have to go there. That was really powerful because you really can't replace first-hand experience. In terms of the locations, we wanted to give you these classic, iconic conflicts and battles, but at the same time, we wanted to tell you the lesser-known conflicts, areas in which you were gonna be seeing things for the first time. Let's move. The story of Normandy is one of incredible international cooperation. The force that conducted the D-Day landings was 14 nations, a multinational coalition force of 130,000 men with one objective, to overcome German opposition. People very often have an emotional moment when they see Omaha Beach for the first time. They see this place where on this one day, this day of days on June 6, 1944, 1,000 men were killed in combat on a five-mile-wide beach. And it's powerful, and it speaks to them. Go! Go! In this area was the U.S. Army's Big Red One, the 1st Infantry Division. They were the first men to get off of Omaha Beach, up the Cabourg Draw. They were compelled forward by a spirit of courage and brotherhood. And that same spirit is at the center of the story of Call of Duty World War II. An important part of the emotional arc of the game is Paris. The experience of the French people is especially traumatic. Under German occupation, a very large number of them are deported back to Germany, where they go into a concentration camp system where they're exterminated. But in other cases, they're subject to food rationing and gasoline rationing and a nighttime curfew. This is an incredibly suffocating and stifling experience. But throughout all of it, the resilience of the Parisian people never faltered, never shuddered. We had our U.S. servicemen fighting alongside uh, members of the resistance, civilians. They knew the territory, and they would fight to the death because it was their country. Members of the French resistance took up arms to resist Nazi tyranny. During the course of liberation, 3,200 Nazis were killed in action. And then 1,600 members of the French resistance, some of them were killed in combat on this bridge. Everything we've lost, everything we fought for, we mean something. Tonight, we take back our city. The Ardennes Forest that we recognize as being the centerpiece of the Battle of the Bulge, it extends across Belgium and into parts of northern Luxembourg. Now the war is entering a, a darker, deeper phase. During that time, it was more of a grind and a stalemate. There was snow on the ground. It was zero degrees. It was realizing the depth of that hardship that they endured for our freedom. Recreating that for the player so that they have some understanding of the sacrifices that were made. On Sunday, December 16, 1944, the Germans unleashed the Battle of the Bulge, the Ardennes counteroffensive. 
It roars through this part of central Luxembourg. It shatters the 28th Infantry Division. The Germans had imagined this victory, that they would drive a wedge between the British and the Americans. This was Adolf Hitler's last chance, his last gamble. But none of this was to be. Within six months, the Allies are in Berlin itself, and the war in Europe is over. The Second World War isn't about you as an individual. This is about people. This is about an idea. The idea of freedom, the freedom from oppression. When people went off and served, they were there for a higher purpose. This is the greatest generation. If people didn't step up and do the right thing, who knows where we would be today? We got to know the personal stories of the conflicts of the war. We realized these great men and women, they're no longer here to tell them stories themselves. If people remember, people will memorialize. And if people memorialize, people won't forget. We're delivering an experience. It's as powerful as it can be, but it's also respectful of the sacrifice that real people made in saving the world. Final victory was not something that was delivered by one nation. In Call of Duty World War II, we tell the story of our brothers and sisters who experienced combat in the Second World War and contributed together to deliver a final victory. It's all been leading to this. When history called, you answered. Wherever your path takes you, you will always be amongst the brotherhood of heroes.